Greetings wrestling fans and welcome to the main event, professional wrestling from Florida's wrestling at the dojo, oh, all-star wrestling extravaganza number three, this is the cruiserweight title match, Rotten Ronnie is coming to the ring now and he will be facing Rex, this is going to be an exciting matchup, these two men have traveled a long road to get here, Joe McKinney is in the ring, Rotten Ronnie, he certainly has surprised or at least opened up my eyes, Patty. What do you think? Oh, yes, you know, you know, when you see the, the makeup, when you see the outfit, you see his hard car tactics, and you just think that he's some kind of bug or, or a bug or a bum. But I got to say, Rotten Ronnie, he's been doing the goods, even though he's underhanded, even though he might be despicable. You got to hand it to him, he's been getting the wins. And now he's going up against Rex, and you see Rex, he is a tough competitor. And this is going to be a nice, tight, hard-fought matchup. Yes, indeed, we're going to see what happens with this. Rex is the master of Rex Kwando. And Rotten Ronnie has that hardcore... Mick Hardcore style, I guess you could call it, Mick Death. Oh, you know something, Mick Death is something the last time that I had at one of his restaurants, if you know what I mean, had kind of a McBlick, the McDargles. And that's why they're not one of our sponsors, but Prince Pepperoni is one of our proud sponsors. Prince Pepperoni, it's, it's hot, it's cheap, what more do you want? And of course, Everlast. You see the Everlast logo on the corner post there. Rotten Ronnie with a nice counter. And now look at that. Knees to the head, pulling out some pride fighting championships right there. Nice drop toe hold. Rotten Ronnie with the dash straight right there, or with a straight punch, I should say. Now look at that, getting him down. Takes the back mount. Rotten Ronnie slips out. Nicely done. Into that torture half crab. And the fans of Miami seem to react to Rotten Ronnie here at SES Stadium. When he yells out, it seems the fans yell with him. And once again, Rotten Ronnie slipping in through the back door. Goes for the cover. McKinney, though, cannot get to a one count. Rex is too fresh. Hear those war cries. And now McKinney going for the count. The Cobra Claw illegal maneuver. Nice ankle kick. And look at that. That's an illegal maneuver too in this matchup. Those punches inside of the guard. Big body slam coming and elevated Boston Crab. Oh, he had a he had that nicely applied too. Rex able to escape, and now there's a torture half crab. McKinney calling for the rope break. Oh, sweep the leg there, Lexi. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Nice counter right there. Look at that. There's some wrestling by Rotten Ronnie. Switching positions, transitioning over. Finally caught in a leg lock, but he made it to the ropes. Rotten Ronnie surprising me a little bit there with a little bit of chain wrestling. Able to uh, switch positions. He missed though with that one. Now he connected with the DDT. Well done there. Rex coming back though. Big punches to the body. STO will sort of Guitari leg sweep. Double leg takedown into the punches. Recently, PWF uh, embarked on a sister organization relationship with a shoot style promotion from uh, Japan, Takayama Empire. And I gotta be honest, I would like to see Rex over there one day in Japan. With his style, I think he could do well. Nice counter, and Rotten Ronnie goes out of the ring. He's got a bat. Oh, look at that. While well, Rex was taunting, butted him right in the ribs. Now he's got a fork out. He's stabbing him. Rex is starting to bleed, I think. 
those are illegal moves. And Ron Ronnie doesn't care. He is living it up here in this cruiserweight title match. Look at that. And a reverse Frankensteiner. What impact. But Rex comes back with that rolling cross knee breaker. I'm telling you, you never know what's going to happen with either one of these two guys. Just when you think one is put away, he comes back with an amazing move. I mean, right now, Rex has got a couple of submission holds in. And Rotten Ronnie, he'll come back with a big move. Just watch. And then after Rotten Ronnie gets a big move, Rex will come back with a big move. Yes, indeed. I think the closest thing we've had to a squash match in this uh, on this card so far was WK Burns just completely overwhelming Hiro Kazafuji in his debut. Everything else, though, I mean, have, has been pretty even. Look at that five-star frog splash. Rotten Ronnie willing to put his body on the line to get the win. Rex missing with the kick. I'll be honest with you folks, I am going to be biased. I think Rex would be a better champion than Rotten Ronnie. I think he would represent the company better. And Rotten Ronnie now right chop on the shin right there. Normally Rotten Ronnie goes for the chop on the uh, upper body or the head, but there he chopped the shin. I don't know how effective that was considering the shin pads that Rex is wearing. And there we go now, just past the 10 minute mark of this match, 45 minute time limit. According to the bylaws of the PWF, the only match that can go 60 minutes would be the Florida State Heavyweight title. Every other title would be 45 minutes. Look at this, Rex is based on the outside, Joe McKinney is counting. And Rotten Ronnie is just posing in the ring there, he just took a kick for it, and good for him. He deserved it. Irish whip off the ropes. Look at the hand time on that drop kick. Both men are down. Rotten Ronnie go back to his feet now. Rex puts on the brakes. Frankensteiner whip. Now he's going back for that chop. The Mick chop. Here we go. Doing a little Mick dance. Aye, and he's looking like a Mick goof. Kamagoye, look at that move. He's going for it with the clutch. 2.9, what a kick out there. Canadian Destroyer. Rotten Ronnie going up to the top. Joe McKinney Cannon, Moonsault, beautifully executed. And he's going back to that McChop again. Let's see what happens. Will he try to get a pinfall or is this just to set up something else? He connected, but Rex is on his feet and he is throwing those gloves. Look at those punches. And there we go, there's Rex. Nice move right there. Look at that Kinko rush. Rotten Ronnie is in. Now he's taking control of this one. Oh, there's the rolling cross knee breaker painter by Rex. Ronnie was in the ropes, though. One has to wonder how much longer this can go on for. These men have brutalized each other. Rex taking a breather on the eighth side. Block and there's the counter. Nicely done by Rex. Miracle driver by Rotten Ronnie. Now he's back up to the top. Diving body press. High fly flow. Oh, look at that electric chair drop. Rotten Ronnie is pulling out all the stops, but Rex is back on his feet. Rolling shoulder hold, could this end it? And it is over, 1701. Here is your new PWF Cruiserweight Champion, folks. 
Stay tuned. We will have the coronation in the ring coming up next.